Hi guys, it's been a long while. Um, this video is my my answers to my uh, own questions. Uh, I've been kind of procrastinating, and plus I've been looking for a job in which I have an interview tomorrow with Joanne's. Woo woo! <laughs> I'm really excited. I've been wanting to get a job at Joann's for so long. But I've just, I've been in a rut. Like, I haven't really been able to talk about it. But now I'm able to talk about it. It's just, I've been really, like, depressed. And just having a negative mindset. And can't have a negative mind to live a positive life. And so I'm trying to, I've been trying to change it, and so far, so good. Uh, I've been feeling a lot better, so, and working at Jo, if I get the job, I'm working at Joann's would make it a lot better, because <laughs> it's arts and crafts, I'm an arts and crafts junkie, so, yeah just wanted to update that and so as soon as I get a, get this if I get this job I can finally start sending out packages after of course my bills are paid because that is number one priority <clears throat> so let's get on to the questions question number one name and or rave rave name and rave name <laughs> Uh, my real name is Christy, and my rave name is Smiley. Um, I added the epic in um, several years ago because there's too many smileys, and I want people to know that I'm the real Smiley. <laughs> uh, question number two. My age is 27 years young. <clears throat> Excuse me. Question number three. State I live in, the AZ. AKA Arizona. <laughs> um, question number four favorite type of music? Well, I like 60s music. Um, there's Codex. <laughs> like 60s music. Um, I like electronic music. Love, love electronic. Um, psychedelic, trance. Um, and I also like happy hardcore and all that, but those are my two main favorite, or three main favorites, is the 60s music and psychedelic music and trance. And question number five, favorite band? The Doors is my ultimate favorite band. I love them to death. If you know me well, you know that I love them very well, or very much. <laughs> Um, favorite color or colors? Um, my favorite color is green, but I also like Rasta colors, rainbow colors, like, I just like all bright colors. I don't like dark colors, because it's dark. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of, like, depressing, but that's why I like bright, bright colors, because it's more happy. <laughs> Okay, number seven. Name a song or songs that have helped you through hard times. Shbungle has helped me through hard times. Um, when I was a teenager, Incubus, um, especially The Warmth by Incubus, has helped me through hard times when I was a teenager. Um, motorcycle, um, As the Rush Comes. Uh, sorry, it's my friend. Jessica, as I call her, butt shit. <laughs> um, above and Beyond, Metropolis, On a Good Day, or On a Good Day, Metropolis. Um, Cascade, I remember. Uh, Christina Novi, Novi, Novi? It's N O V E L L I, that's her last name. It's uh, Constant. Con Con concentrate angel or con some something angel I can't it's like C-O-N-C-R-E-T-E -E. that's what it is and angel 
and uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Road Trippin', The Beatles, uh, Flogging Molly, Flow, uh, one of their songs, and uh, Dash Berlin, a lot of Dash Berlin songs. <clears throat> those are those have helped me through hard times. Um, question number eight: Favorite food? I love sushi and pasta. <laughs> uh, question number nine: If I, if you are vegetarian, if you are vegan or pescatarian, what made you choose this lifestyle? Working at McDonald's made me choose that lifestyle because just looking. Well, it wasn't just McDonald's. It was just meat and period. Just looking at the meat and just watching it cook. And it's just it really disgusting. And, like, when I would go to the grocery store. And I would, like, look at the seafood, like, all cut up. And, like, in the in the meat department, I just look at the seafood. And I'm like, yummy, that's so good. And then I look at the poultry and the meat. And it's like, ugh, I want to puke. It's so disgusting. And I just feel so bad for the animals. <laughs> and uh, and I would never go back to eating the way I w did when I was younger, eating meat. I, I will not go back. I just love being a pet pest. Oh my God, pescatarian. <laughs> um, I've also made. Uh, a, the last couple of days I've made a banana smoothie best smoothie I've made so far oh my gosh it's so delicious <laughs> it's the only things the only ingredients that I have for for that smoothie and so hopefully I'll start like making other ones when we start getting more money in question number 10 favorite animal or animals cats I love I love I love all animals except for like spiders even though it's not really animal those are insects but snakes I don't like snakes <laughs> but I like all animals but most favorite is cats <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee really quick okay Question number 11. Name two places you would like to travel to. Well, if Amsterdam still had their law of tor tourists being able to smoke weed in Amsterdam, I would totally go to Amsterdam. But, yeah. They don't have... They, you have to be... Um, oh, I can't think of the word, but yeah. Anyways... <laughs> I would travel to Paris because I went to visit Jim Morrison's grave and the other is Australia because um, I don't know I've been I've dreamt about it and like I've talked to friends about it and yeah I just would love to go there <clears throat> excuse me um, number 12, favorite place to shop, thrift stores and Ross. Um, question number 13, do I read poetry? Yes, I do, but not as much as I used to when I was in uh, high school. I used to always like, I used to have a, uh, oh, what are they called? Overalls. I used to have overalls and like a pocket was like perfect right in the front and I can just fit a book right there. And like I was really, really into Edgar Allan Poe. Like I read a lot of his books back in high school. But um, I don't. Nothing has catched my eye, caught my eye so far yet. So I'm. St I love to read poetry, but yeah, I just haven't found the right book yet. That interests me. Uh, question number fourteen. What would I prefer, soda, water, coffee, or tea? I would prefer all of the above except for soda. And question number 15. What do you do on, my, on your spare time? 
Um, I watch TV, watch movies, draw, paint, make candy, hang out with my kitties. And that's pretty much all that I really do. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, 16, any goals for 2013? Well, my goal was to find a job, so hopefully that will be marked off tomorrow, maybe, when I have my interview. <laughs> um, if I do find, if I do get that job, then my other goals is to get a more professional camera and go back to school and take more photography classes and, um, and learn how to and take some art, drawing art, oh my god, drawing classes. <laughs> and that's my goals. Um, question 17, favorite game, uh, Left 4 Dead 2, and um, Black Ops 2. <clears throat> Excuse me. And question 18, are you a gamer? Yes, I am. Question 19, my gamer tag is Miss M I S Mo M O Joe J O Ryzen R I S I N Miss Mojo Ryzen for Xbox. <laughs> and if you don't know what Miss Mojo Ryzen is, it's it's supposed to be Mr. Mojo Ryzen, but since I'm a girl, you know, <laughs> Miss. <laughs> It's, uh, if you put, it, Mr. Mojo Ryzen, it's Jim Morrison's name scrambled up. He, na he gave that nickname to himself. And question 20, favorite quote, or quotes, where's your will to be weird, and the future is uncertain, and the end is always near, and those are both by Jim Morrison. And, um... This one I found in a book. Oh, I'll read it at the end. Uh, it's a, this is another quote. Nothing can be broken that can't be fixed. We are human, strange, and wonderful. We are meant to be broken by pain, by grief, by disappointment, and by each other. But we are made whole through love and forgiveness. Um, like I said, I read it in a book called Wild Child, Girlhoods and the Counterculture by Chelsea. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea Kane, C H E L S E A C A I N. That's the author, first name, first and last name. <laughs> it's a really good book. Like, I couldn't put it down. It was really interesting just reading these girls and how they grew up and, and stuff. It was really interesting. <clears throat> back in like the 60s and whatnot and 70s and question 21 favorite day of the week Friday <laughs> uh, question number 22 favorite time of the year and why winter because it feels so magical and I get to go home and spend Christmas time with my family Question 23, do you read comics? No, but I would love to. 24, what's your favorite comic? Don't have one yet. 25, who's your favorite comic book hero or heroes? Thor. I really love Thor because he's thunder and lightning, you know. I love thunder and lightning. <laughs> and question 26, favorite cartoon? Um... Oh, favorite cartoon. Oh my gosh. I want to say old school My Little Pony, but there was something else. It was Popples. Fraggle Rock isn't cartoon. Um. Oh my goodness. I I guess yeah my old old school My Little Pony and there's there was another one but I, I can't think of it right now <laughs> I don't know why 
Number 27, favorite flower or flowers? Uh, daisy. Daisies are my favorite. And I also like um, carnations too because that's my mom's favorite flower, carnation. Uh, question 28, favorite book or books? Uh, the Lizard King by Jerry Hopkins and then the Wild Child book and um, Wonderful Tonight, George Harrison, Eric Clapton, and Patty Boyd. That was a really good book. I could not put that book down. Wonderful Tonight. If you like the Beatles, you will definitely like that book. That was a really good book. Patty Boyd was married to George Harrison and Eric Clapton. Just FYI. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know. Okay, uh, 29. Favorite TV show or shows? The Walking Dead, Grey's Anatomy, Ghost Whisper, Dexter, Roseanne, Fraggle Rock, uh, Lost, CSI Las Vegas, The Guild, American Dad. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Favorite shows, yeah. Okay. Yeah, question 30. Do you own any pets? Yes, six cats. Three inside cats and three outside stray cats. Well, actually, I should add two more to that. So, eight cats. So, five of them would be inside because two of them are kittens and I'm taking care of them. So. Alright, 31. Name a pet or pets. Um, the five inside are the grown-ups, <laughs> Herbie, Orange, Luna, Gray, Charlie is like a raccoon, and Shiva is the little kitten girl, and the little kitten boy is a uh, rascal, and the three outside, um, MJ, short for Michael Jackson, Codex, and Bright Eyes. Question number 32, if I, if I could be anything, what would it be? I would be a photographer cat. <laughs> uh, that's what I would be, is a photographer cat. And just walk around with a little camera on me. And question number 33, if I can hang out with one person, dead or alive, who would it be? Jim Morrison. 34, favorite movie or movies? Grandma's Boy, Across the Universe, Thor, The Avengers, Shawshank, Reven oh, Shawshank Redemption, A Goofy Movie, Amadeus, The Shining, Christmas Vacation, Avatar, Jaws, Indiana Jones Trilogy, Old School Star Wars, Finding Nemo, Caddyshack, Back to the Future Trilogy, 10 Things I Hate About You, A League of Their Own, and Annie. And question number 35. If I could bring back two people from the dead, who would they be? It would be Jim Morrison and my mother. <clears throat> Hello. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Doing great. How's your interview? I didn't think it was a lunch. Oh. It was delicious. I just thought it was an interview and lunch together. That's what Nikki said. It's mm. open. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it went really well. Good. That was my roommate. Okay. Um, so, number 36. Uh, what's your favorite childhood memory? Um, playing in the backyard on the side with my brothers and me sitting on my mother's lap and her singing Little Apple without a stem. Those are my memories that I only remember. And that's from, we have like home videos and stuff. That's what I remember from seeing it. If 
if you could be anywhere right now, where would it be? I would be in Europe right now. That's where I would want to be. All right, question 38. If you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? I would change our government and stop world hunger. If I had a billion dollars, what would, what would you do with it? I would help my family with whatever they needed, put money away for my four nephews and niece for college, buy myself a house and a car, and I would help the needy people who don't have food or shelter. I would open up my own animal shelter and travel the world and buy a place where my heart feels at peace. And question 40. What is the best thing that has happened to you so far? Um was able to see two out of the three remaining ba band members of the Doors for my birthday present four years ago from my boyfriend. Got to meet them after the concert. Ray Manzer Manzarek. Man oh my god, Ray Manzarek. Yeah, Manzarek. Right? I feel like I'm saying his last name wrong. And Robbie Krieger. And so far, that has been the best thing that has happened. Well, actually, there's another one seeing Simon seeing Simon live um, he's part of Spungle and getting to meet Simon so those are the two best mo things that have happened to me so far so that is every that is all the questions so, thanks for listening <laughs> and thanks for t participating in my quiz and I hope y'all are having a good day a nice nice day today it's not too hot thank goodness so hope you guys have a good weekend even though it's almost here but <clears throat> god <laughs> and take care y'all peace and love <laughs>